Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. Now, the content that I'm going to show you tonight is something that makes me smile on a deep level. Texas is struck again. Yet another anti-gun policy is causing a very large bank in the United States to be kicked out of the municipal bond market in Texas. This is an $80 billion market that yet another bank has been shown the door because of anti-gun policies. This is what I'm talking about. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one. And if you are a new or returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning that notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get in the fold so we can spread the news and pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And thank you so much in advance for your consideration. But right now, my brothers and sisters, we have got to dive into Citibank getting kicked out of the municipal... Munis goodness municipal offerings in texas this is big stuff as always it is linked let's get it texas ag to halt most of city's municipal offerings on gun law row now this is incredibly crucial because if you remember last year we covered when jp morgan was kicked out of the bond market in texas because of anti-gun policies yet another bank is now on the chopping block on the way out this is how you stop these policies from occurring hit them in their wallets, in their pocketbook. Kind of like the ATF. You want them to stop infringing on the Second Amendment, Congress can defund that entire organization, or at least curtail their spending. There's lots of things we can do using the power of the purse. This is just what Texas is doing. Check this out. Citigroup Incorporated has discriminated against the firearms sector. The Office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson said, making a decision that has the effect of halting the bank's ability to underwrite most municipal bond offerings in Texas. Republicans have been ramping up pressure on the finance industry over what they say are increasingly, increasingly aggressive environmental, social, and governance practices. That's ESG. That is ESG all day long. It is a social operation to smack down on gun controlling energy, or excuse me, gun controlling states, energy, all sorts of things. But let's continue because there's even more. Listen to what they're actually doing. Citigroup Incorporated has discriminated against the firearms sector, the Office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson said, making a decision that has the effect of halting the bank's ability to underwrite most municipal bond offerings in Texas. Same as the tagline intro, but listen to the next part. Republicans have been ramping up pressure on the finance industry over what they are saying is increasingly environmental ESG practices. Texas enacted a law in 2021 that prohibited government contracts with entities that discriminated against the firearms industry. Every single state in the United States that has the belief of the Second Amendment, at least the red states, I can think of 25 constitutional carry states, should have this policy. You want to make them turn tail? You want to make them curtail their own power? Do this in 25 states. Texas is one of the largest. Louisiana has also done it. There's also other states that have done it. This is how you do it. It's a very simple law to pass. It's not super impossible. And if you have a Republican majority in your state, get on it. Quote, city's designation as a SB19 discriminator has the effect of halting its ability to underwrite most municipal bonds offerings in Texas, Paxton's office told Reuters, referring to the law. Bloomberg News first reported the news, citing a letter that Leslie Brock, Assistant Attorney General Chief of the Public Finance Division, distributed to lawyers on Wednesday. This is not an idea. This is happening. So now you have two super mega banks that have been kicked out of one of the largest municipal bond offerings in the entire country. Tell me this doesn't sting. In fact, you even saw J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon get out there and say, you know, we really can't be making political stances because it's hitting them in the wallet. Let's continue. I've got one more thing for you to send you into the next week, right? It had been determined that Citigroup had a policy that discriminated against the firearms entity or firearms trade association, Brock wrote in the letter reporting Bloomberg. Quote, therefore, until further notice, we will not approve any public security issued on or after today's date in which Citigroup purchases or underwrites the public security or in which Citigroup is otherwise a party to a covered contract relating to the public security, according to the letter. That is how you take someone to task. If you are a legislature in a legislator in another state, if you have any source of power in your state and local governments, your city governments, this is how you bend people to your will. You're not involved in our market if you discriminate against our rights. You discriminate against our rights, you won't be in our market. It works both ways. And that's what I have for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.